To Pakistan, where the alleged mastermind of the 2008 terror attacks in Mumbai, Hafiz Saeed, has been sentenced to 11 years in prison. A court in Lahore found him guilty of raising money for an alleged terrorist organization. He's been sentenced in two cases of terror financing to five and a half years in prison each. The prison terms will run concurrently. Saeed is the founder of the lashkar e toiba terror group, blamed by the United States and India for the four-day Mumbai siege in 2008, in which 160 people were killed. Saeed has denied any involvement. For more, I'm joined by Shazeb Jalani from DW Asia. Shazeb, good to see you. Lots to talk about. But first, give us a bit of a background on who Saeed exactly is. So Hafiz Said is a 70-year-old man. He presents himself as a professor, as a humanitarian and charity worker. In the last few years that I was reporting from Pakistan, every time there was a natural disaster, an earthquake or a flood, I found his organization and his people were among the first responders. And that was because they were facilitated by the Pakistani army. He's seen as a strategic asset uh, by the army. He moves around in high-level security. This is until he was arrested last year. Uh, and he's somebody uh, who the Pakistani army has really uh, taken care of, uh, despite allegations that he was launching attacks in Kashmir and in India. Um, he's India's enemy number one because of the Mumbai attacks that you mentioned. And the U.S. has also declared him and his organization as a global terrorist. So a man backed by the army now sentenced to prison. Quite significant there. Uh, significant because of its timing, because uh, Pakistan is under severe pressure by the international watchdog on money laundering and terror financing, uh, the Financial Action Task Force, FATF. They are meeting uh, in the next few days in Paris to look at Pakistan. Uh, they've already put Pakistan in a grey list, the, the so-called grey list, which means Pakistan is not meeting its commitments. Uh, Pakistan is keen to show that it is serious about cracking down on militancy and terror financing and money laundering. Uh, so the timing is significant. Pakistan will go to this meeting saying, look, we are taking action against people uh, you've been pointing out. Uh, but he has been arrested before, many times before, uh, in Mumbai case and other cases. But each time he's been let off the hook. Uh, Pakistan has said we couldn't find enough evidence to, to try him. In this case as well, he will go into appeal. He'll go into appeal, but what does this mean potentially for India, relations with India? As you mentioned earlier, he's a most wanted man in India because of the Mumbai terror attacks. Well, obviously, India will be cynical about this, uh, given the history, uh, because if you remember, this man was once in India's jail, and there was a plane that was hijacked uh, to Afghanistan, and he was one of the men who were allowed to uh, to be freed in exchange for, for the passengers. He then came to Pakistan, and he launched his rallies, his activities. He could go about his business, des despite Pakistan's political leadership saying uh, that we cannot afford these kind of people, we have to put a stop to this, but there was always a disagreement between the civilian leadership and the military. So India will be watching this, they will be skeptical, and clearly Pakistan right. needs to do more to convince the world uh, that this cannot go on. Shazib Jalani, thanks very much for that.